So what we got, um, I watched the video. I thought it was good. I mean, it helps me because I can sort of see, you know, in real time what the tendencies were. It seemed like the same, you know, like um, most irons and woods, small pushes, right? I would say small pushes. Yeah, yeah. Like that day, especially on the front nine, um, yeah, I was I was struggling with the right miss for sure. Yeah, um, it's all off the tee. Like, yeah, I just I just kind of didn't. I, I played much better in the back nine, and um, like I literally couldn't hit driver in the front nine. I, I would have just I would have just hit it so far, either right or or left. Yeah, it's just the feeling I had. So, um, yeah, no, I mean. Yeah, I mean, not not that's sure. Not, exactly. That's not the easiest thing to do, though. Like you're playing. Have you ever played there? No, 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 never played there. Yeah, so you're going into it like not really knowing where to go and trying to fill yeah. that. That definitely challenges a whole bunch of stuff. Definitely, definitely. Uh, and then you know we'll get <clears throat> more comfortable, and and kind of the whole crew will get better at kind of like managing the whole like round and stuff like that it's just yeah it's definitely a lot going on while you're still trying to focus on like do we have the right shot is Patrick up at the green with the drone like all this other stuff it's it's just a lot of shit going on like I was literally doing it it was crazy so all the boys had teed off um Josh and Ryan and who's the other one we played with maybe it was just the three of us but like the boys had teed off and, and like I'm I couldn't get my Arcos um sensors to connect. So like I'm I'm like I've got my clubs all lined up in the car and I'm I could not get the the little kind of like uh, sensor to connect to the app and like by the time I got to the first tee, dude, I was like rattled. Like <laughs> insanely I like I didn't, I hadn't I hadn't even thought of like where I'm gonna try and hit it yet. Um, so yeah, it was, it was definitely tricky. The back nine actually played way, way better on the back nine. Um, I ended up shooting level on the back, hit driver a bunch of times, hit it pretty good, pretty solid. Um, yeah, I had like, I, I had two birdies, one double uh, off of a, off, like literally had wedge in my hand for the second shot, made double, just missed it in a place you just couldn't miss it. Yeah. But other than that, the, the, yeah. The front, or sort of the back nine, I played way, way better. So, um, yeah, the, the front nine, it just felt like it was just just oh, a rush. Yeah, no, that that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Any different keys for the back? Um, no. You know, honestly, one of the craziest things, um, like, for me, like, Footwear is really interesting. So, like, I, I changed shoes at, at the turn. I was wearing like these Dry Joy Premier things, and they're they're, they're nice. But like, anytime I, I like, I can feel the ground. It's amazing how much better I play. Yeah. That so like, I, yeah. I, I just I, let, I just literally changed into my my Jordans at the turn, and it was like holy shit! Like on the greens. Like my my feel for like the slope is totally different on the tee. Like my feel and balance feels so much better. So literally, the only the biggest thing I felt at the turn was like I changed my shoes and I'm like, oh, dude, this feels way way better. So which was I've never really had that sensation before. That's interesting. I mean, obviously, we know how important the balance stuff is for you. Totally, totally. What are you up to today? Have you got anything, uh, any clinics? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll teach you and then I'll teach another guy in uh, South Dakota. And then I got a, a junior that I teach for a couple hours and then a kid in Connecticut and then a guy in LA. So sort of a little bit all over. That boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah.
I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I think there's a couple of things we'll keep pushing. Give me one more from here, bud, and then I'll look at the front. Hey, pal. Focus is the exact same, right, Ian? Yeah, just like I'm trying to feel like I'm, I make a, like a, a pretty good size shift off of it. Yeah. Like I, I'm way like it's almost like I feel like I'm just trying to clip it um, like, you know, shallower. And that, that's kind of my sensation is like I'm trying to get really shallow with it. Yeah. On angle of attack, not not swing plane. Gotcha. Super pumped. Probably the most I have been in a long time about doing the on course vlog stuff. Yeah. Like it just it just feels like a totally different part of the channel that we've never really explored. And um I, I think I, I I'm do you know what even I was saying this the other day, like even if it isn't our most viewed content, I, I couldn't give a monkeys. Yeah. Like I think I'll enjoy doing it more. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. That's the key, right? Totally. Totally. Yeah. That that's the metric we should we should base everything off of. Yeah. What did that do? Uh, nice and straight. Yeah. That was a little bit that kind of like stuck behind the block. Okay. So I do think that's a reaction, you know, like when I watched the video. So this is what I wanted to go through today. A little bit more was so in the if I get about here and then I start going a little bit that way soon, like too soon for you. That's the yeah. way you start to get a bit forward and then you have to go up and then that leads to that push. So I think the idea of the same backswing with you feeling like it's a little bit of a, a sweep in the, it, it's almost like the backswing you're feeling like you're sweeping it. And then as we come down, it should let you go through it a bit better. Um, I just want to keep pushing the backswing even more. So like we could do, like if I'm trying to control like my stomach here, like this is one that, you know, if I'm looking at the sternum and my belly button, I just don't want to see it go up too soon. Like try to feel like it's like this part's down for a lot longer. You know what I mean? Got it. Yeah, totally. Totally. It's like almost like your core is a little bit more active and your shirt buttons are pointed down for a little longer in that takeaway move. Okay. Going to grab a slightly longer club. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. It likely will feel like you got about another second of downswing because you'll be a little less. It's not like you're ahead of it anymore. I, I would just say you get it a little bit extended a little too early, you know? Got it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, nice wide right hand here in this one. What about um band band warm up stuff? Lots? Lots, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, th this would be so, like, for warm-up stuff, 
like I'll do so like I'll do sort of this type of stuff. So I'll set up the um just the bar with the with a cable. Yeah. Do a lot of rotational stuff. Um that's a kind of medium band. And then I've got handle with um a, a heavier cable. That's if I'm doing a little bit more sort of fast, like fast rotation stuff. And then sort of a bunch of different different little bands and like yeah, just like a bunch of different stuff. Can I see that light band on? I want it. There's actually two things I want to do just to emphasize this backswing feel. So uh, put that that thin band over your right arm, or sorry, over your oh yeah, over your right arm, like your right arm goes through it, like that, and then behind your back, and then under your left, yeah, actually yeah. under. So you're gonna go under your left armpit. Yeah. Okay, under. Yep. And then around your back though. Around your back and then under. Sorry, like through and then it goes behind your back and then it comes to your there you go. Yeah. Go through yeah. then behind. Yeah. Go now ahead. grab it in your left hand. Yep. Okay. Now choke up on it a little bit until it's sort of tense. And and hold it. Yeah, like a grip. Yeah. Like yeah. Yep. yep. Okay, now do two hands. Okay, and now go to the top and try to feel like your right arm doesn't bend when you get up there. Okay, what's that pivot feel like? Or do a couple of them. Tons of stretch, lots of width. Okay. Especially lead, lead side stretch. Thank a lot of lead side stretch. Good. Give me like three more. So just think, look, look at this for just so you can see, okay? So just think about where the rib cage is, okay? And yeah. sort of where uh -huh. it points in the width, right? And like, look how the torque looks in this right leg. Yeah. That's our start. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay? So we can go in there. You can hit with this. Like, we, I, I've been hitting a lot doing this stuff with the, with the guys. <laughs> So, so just still keep it in the left hand and kind of put it on the grip. Yeah. So this is going to be a pause. Yeah. Perfect. Do one more. You can do it a little bit more like your intent still is to hit the ball. Okay. Okay, go for it. I'm sure that was shallow, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. So it does, to me, it does two cool things. It's going to make, like in transition, it's going to make the band want to pull in. So, and mm -hmm. we know that that's what your tendency is. So, it's sort of like that reverse muscle training. Like you're going to have to keep tension pushing out as you do the transition, right? The band's going to pull in. If it pulls in too much, you'll tow it like crazy, right? Yeah. I did, Josh, I was doing this with a warm up thing with Josh. And then I've been using it for practice and actually like hitting lots of shots, doing it for the guys. And they, uh, it's, it's unreal actually. Yeah. It's a cool, it's definitely a cool way to sort of feel that, that stretch. Well, it's funny because lots of the stuff you, we've talked about is like you can do it in the rep, but in the hit, you're having a tough time getting it all the way there. Like yeah. you just that one, you're all the way there, you know? Right. Beautiful. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. The width there is nuts, man.
Give me one more, and I want to see that down the line. How hard is it? Or is it fine? Yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. no, it's just totally fine. <clears throat> Yeah. Ooh, that's so different. Hey, check this and then I'll go down the line. Okay, that's where we started. Yeah. That's with the band stretch. Wow. So look at the different, like to me, I'm looking at sort of how this hip is. Like obviously we got to keep an eye on the tilt with the neck, right? Yeah. That's That's the start. This is when you did it without the club yeah right so it's definitely encouraging it it's interesting i almost want to keep do one more face on i want to keep those eyes a little more level if you can when you do the max swing what do you think uh when i see that as well ty it looks like i it get a little too like shifted with the pelvis to the right yeah like when i'm looking at the right hip like so the your connection with the right toes you start to lose that connection a little bit with your with your toes on your right foot yeah. so I, I would say that we still probably need to be a little bit more active in in how the foot is connected with the ground because it, it's more of a like there is lateral right and then we need a little bit of push in that foot with a little bit of twist but the idea is that the big toe i mean it could come off if you're really trying to smoke it, but I would say in this environment, we'll try to keep it close to the ground. Yeah. Okay. And the, I like the idea of last time we had the right hip feeling like it was getting more to the target almost as you did it, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, great. That must still feel loaded, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that one felt better for sure. It didn't look as hard to get back to the ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to amp this up again. Okay, do the exact same thing. I want to just talk you through two things here as you do it because I like how the upper body looks. Okay, now feel like you, can you lift your left foot off the ground, like tap it? Okay, good, yeah, perfect. It hit it. I just wanted to make sure you were totally into that trail leg, even though the pelvis is more loaded, you know? Yep. How'd that feel on the right hip when you did it? Wait, did, did it feel different than it was or similar? Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like the last two swings have <laughs> certainly turned turned more into the right hip for sure. Okay, great. It's actually amazing how much more level you look in transition, like versus like any of that. It looks like yeah. like really a lot more on top of it in a good way, you know? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay, I'll go down the line now. How, how are those last ones? Good, good. Yeah, that's here. That's nice. Yeah. I just like how the chest looks and how the neck looks less tilted, you know? Yeah. You definitely are getting some nice twists in the in the feet now too, which is good, especially that trail one. Because what that does, right, is when you do that kind of pivot, now your hands are going to be more here versus like 
if I'm a little limited and then I'm going that way, then they're a bit more behind and I'm leaning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what makes the downswing harder. For sure. For sure. Unreal, man. That's pretty. How's that? How's that uh, lie angle? Uh, I've only got the I've only got the one the one dot on it for okay. path and angle attack. Lyango has been better though, Ty. Like at this, like working obviously on sort of keeping the eyes level. Like it, it it's so good for for the the sort of handle raise and shit that I do. Yeah. Yeah. So money, man. Like seriously good. Yeah, that that's a really nice, really nice feel for the backswing for sure. Yeah. I like that a lot. Show me one a little bit more left or like chest pointed to the ground at the top. Just, just want to see one thing. Yeah. That actually felt like a much better backswing position. Well, it's funny. So like, just so you can see it, I mean, everyone's a little different on how they'll react to this, but okay, this is when, I would say it's a little bit, little tiny bit more extended than I would like, but the position is sweet. Like I'll just let you run, I'll run it back so you can sort of see. This is the two swings ago, okay? So yeah. like, lovely. Setup actually lovely, is great yeah. too. Like the pushing the band keeps the ribs back. You see how your ribs look there? Mm -hmm. Super neutral. Perfect. Okay, a little bit lifted and a little bit extended. And then that le led to a little bit of this in transition, right? Just a little on top. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then this is when you feel like you're staying a bit more, um, you know, sort of ribs down or shirt buttons down kind of picture. You see how easy that gets? Yeah. Wow. Right? Like, look how nice your body position looks there. Yeah. So I think that, wow, that, is... that it's it, like, it's not, I know in the swing, it doesn't feel like, it's not like a massive like movement, but then you look at the transition, I'm like, wow, it's enough to like make mm. a difference, you know? Yeah. 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 Those, those little sort of small subtle things that, that obviously cause the steepening and um, no, that I could feel the difference at the top. Just, it felt like just being sort of more behind it and in, in sort of that position yeah. versus being sort of, more up, up in there more lifted yeah and like extension is going to be it's important but it's how we're getting it i think is is part of the battle too and the fun thing is i i didn't want to say the reason i was doing it i just wanted to see if the transition changed and it changed a ton right so yeah we know that it's it's what we need Yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot easier, man.
I'm going to uh, definitely steal this band drill for Mikey. I've been trying to kind of get him to get way more, like his right arm gets so narrow in the back yeah. swing. It's insane. Like, it, like he's actually, I think, from a sequence perspective, got actually a really nice swing. Yeah. Like he, he sequences it up really, really well. He just, he just, he's so handcuffed with like zero width. And it, it's been cool to see, like, he was like a 99 to 101 club head speed and, and really without getting technically any better, he's now at like 109, 110. Wow. Um, which is huge. And it's just, just by like pushing on his speed, but you know, he gets so narrow and then just goes that way and just, just wants to sort of spin out it. Um, so trying to like give him some like feels just to try and get like a bit more width so he can get the thing coming down and sort of yeah yeah them. The, 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 that one and then i like you know like the i used to do this when i was a kid you just get your hands up and then turn and then you get used to what it's like to have them like over here you know yeah because yeah. you're just not yeah. changing you're not really changing arm bend then you're right when you do exactly. that exactly yeah so so so, so what do you so i would just go, go i mean golf set up and then i go lift them to my nose and then I just rotate. And then when I rotate, I'm like trying to imagine that they always stay the same distance. So golf so, first. Go posture yeah. first. Lift. Arms. Turn. Yeah. It's interesting. Even when you it. turned, you did it this way. So I yeah. would like really make sure it stays like without the tilt. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's so funny. Um, like you said something last week about like something like something that you you know Mark Bull were saying about some things are just forever, like just maintenance for forever. And it made me think. I'm like, what parts of my swing today am I still like still working on that I would have worked on in my first few lessons? And and literally this is it. Like yeah. when I was sixteen. Well, you know what's so funny? I think this is where people get in trouble is they'll – and it's it's just golf because you'll say, you know what, it's not it's not working. But it's like, you know, the way we're trying to do it is we just have to move the needle enough where yeah. it's like your misses are really good, right? Instead of like if you go the other way and you just go back to the old tendencies, then the misses just get bigger. If we just keep moving along this road, it's like – you know, obviously in the lessons, we see how good it looks, but then when you play, it's just like, we just have to go from here to here. And then it's like, wow, it's like a huge difference. And then you sort of, I, you know, or we have a protocol of like, these are our steps that I do every single day. Like the juniors that, that, you know, we help get scholarships. We're doing the same drills for six days a week for years, man, like years. Yeah. But people like it, that's the tough part is like, okay, like it's, you know, one hour lesson and I don't see a change. It's like, well, like I want them to see a change and I want them to understand what their pattern is. That's like the key. So if you understand like, okay, this is me, this is how I'm going to move the needle for me. These are my drills. I can do them. Like for you, these drills, you can do as much as you want. Like there's yeah. no, there's no like, oh, you're going to overdo it. Like it's like, mm -hmm. you're not going to, you're not going to overdo it. Never, never, never. ever. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. And then you just, then we add the speed components once the patterns, as the pattern keeps getting cleaner, right? Yeah, exactly. Did you get over 100 last week when you did it? Um, What did I get to? Um, what? So we ended up doing <clears throat> some driver testing uh, on the channel. I got, I got driver to, I want to say 118. Nice. So yeah, there was a few in the kind of one like one seventies, um, which was which was nice. Um, like the, the cool part about it was like my first swing of the day, like I, I was like, oh, just give me a few. And the boys actually were running the camera, and I'm like, give me a few just to hit a couple listeners. And it was like first one was like one sixty five ball, like a two ninety little tight draw, and it was like fuck, like that's that's really good if that's the open one of the day um you know that's, what a, that is a, that's always a nice sign right yeah 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 okay overdo the chest same stuff
Beauty. I don't think it's overdone. Like that was that was just pretty neutral, you know? Yep. Wow, that looked easy. That looked easy. That that one felt really nicely sequenced and yeah, it wasn't wasn't a struggle to kind of get back to it or or find the strike. Yeah. So give me one, Ian, just in a demo. I just want to see one thing. Show me a demo where you feel like you're, so say it was this way. I want you to imagine that your right thumb's pointed even more like that direction, like away from your head versus like okay. towards your head. That way? Yeah, just like your right arm feels straight-ish. And don't you don't have to overdo the twist. Just imagine that. There you go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly different? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm, because we know, like for you, anytime it gets too internal and it starts going more, it's just harder, right? So I'm just presetting a bit more external at the top, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Um, Grab the band, so do everything the same, but instead of holding in your left hand, show me one where you hold it in your right hand. Like, so just grab it with your right, your right hand now. Yeah, and now go to the top of your swing. Just no club. Right arm feels like it stays pretty extended if you can. There you go. I mean, that's a 10 out of 10 for right arm position. Do it again. Incredible, man. You feel that? Yep. Nice. One more. We did this for a kid in the Foley camp, but dude, so go there, hold where you are. Okay, do like that. Yeah. Like really good. And then watch how much weaker it is. Let your elbow go, let your hand go this way a little, like in front of your head. How much weaker that way. is that to hold it? And now put it back. Yeah. You feel what that does? Yep. That's good, man. Okay, now go club again. We're going to hit some. Do you feel what that is? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a great way to feel that right, yeah. right arm position. Yeah. Um, band in the left hand? Yeah, let's go left hand again, yeah. A little more with the where the chest is, not over. Do one more from the start, and then a little bit more, uh, like that way. Okay. Yeah. Sweet, man. Tell you what, that's spot on there, Ian. Like in the, to me, like watch, watch how this looks here. 
I mean, these last couple have been really good. This was the band, so you can see the yeah. see how the right form looks pretty vertical, right? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and then this is the last one, so we're there. Yeah. So, like, right hip maybe could have been a touch more, but like, watch how easy it looks like this transition gets. Look how look how nice your chest looks here. Mm. See how there's so much less of that, you know, like it really looks like, and I think as you keep doing it, it's going to be, you'll be more like that. Like you're already, like if that was the starting swing, I don't like, I, we would just be working on like maybe a bit of speed and some transition, like small timing things, but it's like, it's not related to what the club's doing. Cause it's, that's like, if the club looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's how are you not gonna that's nice. It? Yeah, that's <laughs> clean, clean. Like it's I when I watch, I'm just like, what are our odds? Like, I'm like, the odds are like you're gonna hit a lot of good shots when I see yeah. it, you know? Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, no, it feels feels amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look at this one. I mean, it's not bad. Can I see it? Uh, just move the camera a little bit more body line for me, bud. Oh, um, like uh, well, uh, other way, other way, and a little. You can move it a little closer and a little bit more behind you. Yeah, right there is good. Perfect. Okay. Neck posture there. Yeah. Just let, like, I'll give you a visual. Because I, th I think this would help, too, a couple of things. Look at that. Oh, God, in here. Because I want... Um, you hit one more and then I'll show you this. Hey, Bob. Really, really flip it here, okay? With some, just with some speed? Yeah, just the right hand has to come over so much more through the ball. Got it, got it. So like, see how it almost looks like, like this part of your head is like above your back? You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it sort of looks like it's almost like you're here and it's like lifted like this. Like, yep. I want to see, here's like a couple of visuals. So like, here's, here's one of Dustin, right? Yeah. So see how like the head's a little bit almost below the back there. Xander, like pretty lined up, right? You see it? Mm -hmm. There's Rom, like slightly lower, right? You see it? Well, why would that be, Ty? Why would there be like... I, I think it's just the idea of like being in like a strong driver posture in the longer club. It's almost got you sort of, I'm exaggerating a bit, but like that. So yeah, you, like it feels so weird to change that, but we, it's when I'm in an extended position, it's going to make me like, if I'm already extended, like when I go to turn, it's going to sort of look like that. If I can be a little bit more neutral, like it should yeah. create more room for your rotation there. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. It makes yeah. a ton of sense. Yeah. So I think it's one of those ones where, you know, it might feel a little different, but I think the upside is definitely worth it. Give me two more. So we got, let's see that neck position. Yeah, good. Perfect. Bends look good there. Yeah. That feel like you could even relax it more. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It definitely is like I'm. I'm used to having it like here. Yeah. So I, you can feel tall with your chest ish, but relax your chin. Yeah, and then you could suck your like feel like your hips are under your body just a little bit more. There you go. Relax your chin even more. Yeah. Wow. I mean that's minimum. Is that crazy? That's yeah. That's like. To do that, I'm actually having to put a lot of downward pressure on my neck. On the back of your neck? Yeah, like when you say relax the chin, it's like 
it's it, it's not it doesn't feel it relax the chin it's pulling the one chin where down you hold the club like this up in front all the way like in front of your chest is like your chin sorry there and then just let everything just relax down as you put the club down like your upper back and everything relax there you go that's it you feel okay. where that is yeah so that that's a little out in front of the face everything relax yeah there that's plenty athletic man okay got it Totally relaxed. There you go. Don't adjust. That's it. Back swing. Yeah. It looks like it's lined up a little bit on the heel there. Okay. The body position was good. That top of the back swing was solid. <laughs> Ribs needed to be a little bit more pointed at the ground. But it was pretty okay. good. And for you, keep trying to hit it high and and a little bit of making sure it still releases. We'll, we'll change the – we just got to get that first to get um, the club swinging again. It's just a little held off. There we go. Miscommunication. Yeah, get it way out on that toe. Yeah, at least there. Yeah. Closer, man. Positions are good. Movement's good. Super good, actually. You know what? I actually really like what you're doing there. Like movement wise, really good. Give me a little bit of right bend at address, just a bit more. Right shoulder down to right hip a bit more. There you go, right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to give you more time. You believe it? You still, man, you're going to have to really let that thing go. I'm not sure. It, it doesn't feel like if I, yeah. It, and maybe it's the band. Like I, I never have an issue letting it go. I know. I know. Maybe, you're yeah. like, when I look, it could be the band. This is, um, I'll show you the last one that I got to jump on with another guy here. No um, worries, Phil. This is like position wise. So this is the one before the last. So setup's good, right? Like really good. Next looking more natural. This is, I mean, that's like super pure, right? You see it? Yeah. Yeah. And then when you're coming down, watch how nice like this part looks like you're in a sweet spot right there. You know, like the chest looks like it's not as much up, which is good. Yeah. And then it's letting it go or just getting the face to start to square up a little sooner, but all of those positions are good, man. Like all of them are yeah. good. Yeah. God. Like we could, like there's small tweaks there, but there's nothing that's like, okay, this is has to be addressed. Like you should hit it straight from there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's certain, certainly those feels tie of like getting that sort of stretch into the back swing with chest down. Yeah. Like feels, feels way, way better. And I think once, once I have a little bit of transition without the pause, that, that oh, yeah. will be, you know, be nice and easy just to just to kind of clip those away with a little draw for sure. I love it, bud. I'll uh, yeah, keep me posted. I'll send you some of those good ones, okay? Thanks, pal. All right, bud. See you, man. All right, buddy. Chat soon. Thanks, All right. bye. Bye.